Hi, this is Elgin from Mind Body Project. Um, today's question is, is anxiety caused by a chemical imbalance in the brain? So this is what they said for uh, depression. Um, I'll answer the same way. Yes. Um, but the question really should be, what's causing the imbalance, the chemical imbalance? So what are you doing? And it's going to be the same thing as I'm going to keep saying the triad of anxiety so physiology is going to be focus, what you're focusing on and it's going to be your language patterns yeah. they all going to change your um, the chemistry yeah. so if I'm sitting here now I'm going to have different chem chemistry in my body to when I'm running if I eat a meal now, um, then I'm going to have different chemistry to when I'm sleeping. So your body's always in um, in balance, uh, and it's constant. That's what keeps you alive, essentially. Uh, so you're always your body's always moving around. It's always having to do things and keep you in homeostasis, which is what it's called. So the question is, is like what's causing the imbalance in this particular way, so that you have anxiety and it is because it's because of these things that triad. It's like, what are you doing? It's like that is that is essentially what it is. Anxiety is a learned behaviour. Yeah, it's learned. What happens is it's learned to the the level where now it becomes automated. Yeah, so you feel automated. So if something happens, a trigger, and then bam, think something happens. Yeah, you feel Whoa. yeah. And what you want to do is you want to break those patterns. Yeah, you want to snap you out of it. Um, and there are specific ways that I do that. Um, one of the ways is Nuco games. Um, so that's a way of, of removing those anchors. Because if, unless you remove or break those patterns, then you are not going to be able to uh, long term get rid of anxiety. You can have coping mechanisms, which I don't really like because that means that you have to get to the problem and then you can use those. Um, then you can use the coping mechanisms. Yeah, so that implies that feel bad first, then you can use these skills. Yeah, rather than no, hang on a minute, let's just not get there in the first place. Let's just chop you off from there. Let's go this way rather than going to the problem or going to that. So that is um, yeah. So it's, it's caused by an imbalance, but the question is, is what causes the imbalance? And what causes the imbalance is that this triad. Yeah, that's what's causing it, and you have to break those patterns. The thing is, once people, once you realise how easy it is to deal with anxiety, then you are going to think, what on earth was I doing? Why was I doing that? And it's, the problem is, people are not trained. Anxiety is just, it's your unconscious mind saying, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, and you're not paying attention because you've not been trained to. It's lack of rapport with your unconscious mind. It's your unconscious mind that's controlling this. Your unconscious mind controls everything that you do. Yeah. And you need to find a way. Again, you can do it through meditation. You can do it through hypnosis. You can do it with uh, anything that involves where you have to go into a, a deep alpha state. Yeah. Anything to do with that, then you are going to learn how to con uh, communicate with your unconscious mind. And therefore, you can actually start dealing with this. If you're going to talk, start, sit there and do talking therapy, like what um, essentially a lot of people do, you can't really influence the unconscious mind that way because you have to communicate with the unconscious mind to deal with this. Uh, talking therapy is fine for, um, yeah, because you need some support, but to really, really make sure this doesn't come back and make sure that you're fine, you have to use the unconscious mind to actually deal with this. Your unconscious mind can do pain control, you can do, um, I mean, there's loads of things that you can do with the unconscious mind. It is very powerful when you tell it what to do. At the moment, you're not telling it what to do because you don't know how to. Yeah, that's probably that why you have that anxiety or the depression. You need to find a way, uh, I've told you, meditation, uh, hypnosis, timeline therapy, NLP, anything to do with the unconscious mind processes, you need to tap into that and use the real power 
of your unconscious mind to actually get the changes that you want. Because when you do that, it happens extremely quickly and powerfully as well. Yeah? There's no better thing than doing that, especially with anxiety. Um, the other thing you can do as well, which I do, is use um, Nuco games, which get you into a high performance state. The high performance state will override the anxiety. Yeah, so it will snap it out, so you can't get the anxiety back. And that's the trick. You shouldn't be able to get it back. Yeah. So, yeah, it's caused by the imbalance, but um, it is. But what is it that causes the imbalance?